Hi there folks, welcome to another Shell Busting video by the brilliant Expat Tappy. The video titled Expat Tappy's Challenge Clues Revealed. Now folks, for those not aware of what's been going on, a couple of months ago, me, the brilliant Expat Tappy, put a challenge to these remaining NASA nutcases. I said, tell you what, let's forget the comments, let's forget the derogatory remarks, let's forget the insults, let's forget the swearing, let's have an amicable debate. Live video, a live video, a live amicable debate. Me this side, and you showing your face, using your voice, and your real name, and responding to that challenge by the great expat Tabby. And so far, folks, not one of them have had the balls or the brains to accept the challenge. And that means they're all losers. All we've had so far is, of this idiot, Brian Pop Robson, we've had, the fault is a genuine and taken on the moon, you stupid idiot. All we've had of Paul the Pratt is, that I'm not using genuine NASA photos. All we've had of the other idiot, Screwball Screwy, is the photos are genuine and taken on the moon. And all we've had of the other one, the Wicked Witch from Down Under, Joan Evans, is this. Take it away, Joan. <laughs> I am on the fire! Now folks, the first photo challenge I put to all these nutcases was this photo coming up here. AS16-117-18825. And here it is. Take a look at it. There you are folks. There it is. AS16-117-18825. Apollo 16 astronaut standing near the rover. Now, like I told them all in the start, the brilliant expat Taffy can find at least 10 errors in this photo telling us it is fake. Now folks, when you've got a genuine photo, like this one you're taking in Thailand, apart from getting the light settings wrong, or the focusing wrong, or the level of the camera wrong, there will be no errors in the photo. Be they contentious or deliberately inserted, there will be no errors in the photo, folks. Get that straight with a genuine camera. Now, folks, to stop these idiots picking and choosing what they want to comment on, the brilliant expat Taffy has now decided a different approach. What I'm going to do in this video is only concentrate on one type of clue. A type of clue so irrefutable it can only be regarded as deliberate inserted whistleblowers clues. And they can't make it any clearer than if they grabbed Pop Robson's bunny ears, shook his head and say, hey, what's the matter with you, you stupid bloody idiot? I'm putting clues in you to tell you the photo is fake. I faked it on the earth and not on the moon. What's the matter with you? Are all Englishmen as bloody stupid as you are? <laughs> That's going to be the approach in this video, folks. Okay, folks. Now, before I get down to revealing what these irrefutable whistleblowers' clues are, let me remind you something I've mentioned to you in the past before. 
The reason expat Tati is so brilliant at analyzing these photos is I do not get stuck on one photo all the time. What I do, I study photos in front of it and back of it. Not just the one I'm studying in the middle, but some in front, some at the back. And I compare one with the other. Is there something in this that doesn't appear in that? Is there something in that that doesn't appear in this? What similarities they've got and what differences they've got. Okay, folks, take a look at this photo here now. AS16-117-18826. Now, this is the next photo after the challenge photo. Now, I'm showing you this because it's the same astronaut, the same whistleblower's clues, but they're even more clear. More clear for you to see. Just take a look at a crop section coming from that photo. There you are, folks. Look at this cutting here. Just look at the fingertips on these gloves. There is no rubber tips on the end of these fingers at all. They've all got flat ends. The tips have been removed. Now, look at the next photo coming up. Here you are. Here's a good example. Buzz Aldrin, training. Just look at the fingertips on his gloves here. Real big, grey, round, rubber tips. Here's a closer look. There you are, look at the fingertips on those gloves, folks. There you are, folks. As you can see, for 18826, no fingertips whatsoever on the end of these glove fingers. None at all. Which is what you can see on the other photo, 18825. Rubber fingertips missing altogether, folks. And watch for a cropped photo and brightened up here to show you. There you are, folks. On his right hand, you've got a round tip for the thumb, then you've got a flat tip, then a round tip, then a flat tip, then a round tip. And for his other hand, you've got a very strange indentation in what is supposed to be a pressurized glove at the top. And with that one, you've got a fingertip missing, a fingertip, a fingertip missing, and a fingertip again. Okay, folks, now, let me ask you all a sensible question. What explanations can you come up with for those glove fingertips missing? Let's have a logical explanation. Now, the explanation by the twat who is always sticking through his astrobron is some disgruntled worker for NASA was sneaking in past the armed guards into the gallery and altering the photos on the computer. So they could have erased the tips out. Well, that's not possible because if they did, there would be a gap between the glove flat part and the rod that he's holding. There is no gap. The flat part of the tip is touching the rod. So that is ruled out. Another explanation by the idiot Bertie Sack is, um, uh, oh, uh, well, I can see uh, tips on this one here. And he showed another astronaut from another mission and said, I can see fingertips on you. To which I said, hey, idiot, we're not talking about that bloody photo. We're talking about this one, you stupid nutcase. Now, another explanation is the guy taking the photo had a scissors and he snipped them off before he took the photo. Now, what do you think of that? And if he did, there's a danger of him cutting his mate's fingertips off. And by doing that, the pressure would immediately come from the suit. And he would be dead. So nobody cut the tips off. So what's the only logical explanation? The only one I can think of is the guy who was faking the photo, he took a pencil and he pushed the tips up inside the finger. And then he took the photos and he faked them, no trouble at all, showing no finger tips. Now, don't you think that's the only logical explanation? Now, what is he telling us by these finger tips missing? Well, what he's telling me is, one, to push the tip up inside, there can't be a human being's finger in that glove. So if there's no finger in there, there's no astronaut in there. And another thing, if the tip is pushed up, as I just said, 
It also proves that the sink is not pressurized. The pressure inside is exactly the same as outside, which can only be on the Earth. It's not on the Moon, because if it was on the Moon, it would go pop and come back out. So there's the whistleblowers telling us that photo is fake. You're on the Earth, not on the Moon, and they've left the clues there to prove that it was fake on the Earth. Bye bye, Paul the Pratt. Bye bye, to the crop yard, taxidating bunny. Bye bye, to the screwball screwy. And bye bye, to the witch from under, Joan Evans.